I'm in red form In a red state, such a red case on a red song In a shared space with my shareholders cause we share a bond Spiritual healthcare, that's real self-care, you won't care for I got my Mets hat on to the back Y'all already know where we going with the stats Any artist that's talking garbage and try to curse us Y'all follow a wave and do whatever's current I follow his ways, I know my turn is coming Welcome to New York Giants Full Access Add it to the cart and we got you and That's it man, go purchase Big Pass Sports Talk merch and support the family man and welcome to big pass sports talk thank you for your support what's going on youtube instagram twitter all platforms welcome to another episode of new york giants full access with your boy big pat sports talk and once again we're gonna be doing another pre-game speech we got a huge game versus the san francisco 49ers thursday night football home opener for the 49ers and we are in dangerous territory so this pregame speech it's going to be some real talk in this pregame speech man first and foremost as a New York Giants team we got to take this game very seriously and reason because, and because we don't get a lot of respect we're one of the only playoff teams from last year that everybody predicts that we're not going to do anything. Then coming off that loss to the Dallas Cowboys, 40 to nothing, and being down 20 to nothing against the Cardinals. A lot of people have a reason why to disrespect us and say that we're frauds. They even say we're below frauds. And you guys should take this personally. When we've come up against very good teams, most most of the time we come up short, and we come up short in a big way. That stops. That has to stop tonight. We need to go out there and show up and show out and play this 49ers team like it's a playoff game. We need to go out there and show the world that we deserve respect. And Ric Flair say it, says it best. In order to be the man, you got to beat the man. And right now, a lot of a lot of a lot of fans, a lot of people, a lot of media pundits has San Francisco tagged as the man. So we got to go out there. We got to punch San Francisco in the mouth. We got to hit them and we got to hit them hard, pause, and we got to hit them often and we got to hit them early. No more of this starting off and playing. When we play good teams, we get blown out 38 10, 48 20, 40 to nothing, 28 10. No, we got to go out there and we got to go out there and win this game. So that's just to start off, man. We got to go out there with a mentality that we're better than them. Because if we go out there flat, we will be embarrassed once again. And we cannot afford any more embarrassments. Now, per se, is our roster. We got a lot of injuries. Andrew Thomas, Saquon Barkley, Ben Bredesen. Got some heavy hitters on that injury list. And we're going to have to battle through it. Zudu, you're going to have to play left tackle again. Mainly against Nick, Nick Bosa. Well, not Nick Bosa. They'll probably move him from side to side against Evan Neal and Zudu, whoever he, he's having a better game against. That That's where he'll be. Mark uh, Marcus McKeithen, you're going to have to step up again. Mark Lewinsky, you're going to have to play some good left guard again. John Michael Schmitz, this is your first real test of the season. This offensive line in general, you're going to have to step up. I know we got injuries. Some real bad injuries. Ojalar is on that list as well. We got, what, one, two, four key starters out. But it's next man up. 
You guys are gonna have to go out there and do what it do. That's what happens when you're in the heat of battle. And you go out there and you battle against other teams. Some injuries are gonna happen. And it's up to coaching and it's up to players to step up. That's why you're on this team. That's why you're being paid. That's why you're a backup because you're in there to back up the starter. Jason Casey gets hurt. And we're not supposed to lose that much when you come in. Have some pride. Go out there and let's play some ball. This whole play calling situation. Is it Kafka? Is it Dabo? I don't want to give a damn who it is. Whoever's calling the plays. Let's get back to what we was doing against the Arizona Cardinals. To where we're calling plays and we're setting up other plays to get big plays down the field let's get Daniel Jones out of the pocket because if he sits there he's going to be a sitting duck and I don't think he survives being a sitting duck against this defense we have to get him out the pocket and we have to make some type of plays and one thing I want to see I want to see Paris Campbell involved in this game I think he's the one that has the leverage in the receiving room and we have to get him the ball to see what we can do Let's use them in the running game and let's use them in the short screen game, the drag game against this defense. I think Paris Campbell can be a valuable weapon against this team. We already know what DJ has to do. Play control. Don't make any huge mistakes. And play within the confines of the game. Take what they give you. And when you can't make a play, you damn sure better make it. Darren Waller, you're going to have to step up. You're leading the league in tight end yards. You're going to have to continue to lead the league in tight end, yard, tight end yardage if you want to win this game. You're going to have to be the number one receiver. It's point blank period. And these running backs... I don't care if it's Breida, Brightwell, or Eric Gray. Y'all get it together and y'all get it done. Running back by committee this game. Defense. In order for us to compete in this game, you're going to have to get some pressure tonight. You don't get any pressure, we're going to get whooped again. Hate to say it that way, but it is what it is. Isaiah Simmons, Kayvon Thibodeau, Zimenez, Jahad Ward, Boogie Basham, whoever is the guy that's supposed to get pressure. You better get some pressure because if we don't, we're going to get eight alive. And secondly, you better tackle your butts off because as Debo Samuel has his way, we don't win this game. If Brock Purdy is able to sit in that pocket and able to hit his receivers over, over the middle of the field all night, we don't win this game. So y'all better get it together. You better stop Christian McCaffrey. You better hold the edge in the run game. And you better get some edge rush pressure. And on offense... You can't make not one mistake. And you better take what this defense gives you. And y'all better play y'all butts off. Or it'll be another embarrassment on prime time for this team. And let the disrespect begin. So this is my pregame speech to the New York Giants. Going up against the San Francisco 49ers. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that big blue join button if you want to talk your talk with the big blue crew. And until the next episode or, well, until tonight's game, y'all know what it is, man. Peace.